This is lesson seven and two tenths, exploring fraction multiplication situations. So why are we going to be doing this particular lesson and learning about fraction situations? Well, because we need to be able to mul multiply a unit and non-unit fractions by whole numbers. And this is going to kind of get us ready for that. So we're going to take a look at three different strategies that we can use to multiply a whole number times a fraction, which is what I have over here, 9 times 3 fourths. And basically, I'm going to show you three different ways to do the same problem. So the first way that we're going to talk about is repeated addition. So basically, this is similar to something that we've done in class not so long ago. I am taking the fraction 3 fourths and I am writing it 9 times because I'm taking 9 times 3 fourths. And when I do that, I add all of those 3's together across my numerators and I get 27 fourths. And basically that means 27 divided by 4 which happens to be six. That's where this whole number comes in. And I have a remainder of three. So my mixed number becomes six and three fourths. Now, number two talks about relational thinking. And that's basically relating what you know, okay? So if I were going to take the fraction three fourths, and put two of them together, which is what I have here in this box. I know that two of those is equal to one and one half. Four of those is equal to the whole number three. So that would be these four, right? One and a half plus one and a half is three. Then eight of those, which would be all of these, would be equal to six. And then we have three fourths left over, which is what you see here. So my final answer would be six and three fourths. So this is another way to think about these types of problems. Again, same problem here. I'm just looking at it and thinking about it in a different way. Did I get the same answer? Yes. Okay, our third option is to draw a picture as you can see down here at the bottom. And what I did was I divided each of these circles into four parts because my denominator up here in my original problem was four. And it's three fourths nine times. So I put a one, a one, and a one to be three fourths for the first time. And then a two, a two, and a two is my second three fourths. The threes represent my third, the fours represent my fourth, and so on until I get to nine. Now when I do that, I am still getting the whole number six because I have six complete circles filled in. So my whole number is still six, and then I have three parts out of four in that last circle. So my answer is still six and three fourths. Now, if I asked you the question, between what two numbers does my answer lie? You would say what? Between six and seven, right? Because six and three fourths is between six and seven. So what are we going to do in class with this lesson? Well, we will work in pairs to use pictures and equations to explore fractions in multiple situations. So you're gonna to have to try to figure out how to do several of those options that I showed you in the previous screen. So heads up and be ready to work when you come to class.